Hello guys, uh, this is what we're going to do in this video. Gun gonna rotate around the character like so, and it's gonna flip if you bring gun to the left side of the character, like so. Before it was just facing the same direction all the time, but now you can see it goes to the left, and if you bring it to the right, it goes to the right. And it rotates like so, which is pretty cool, I guess. So that's the idea for this video. Let me just uh, delete the changes I did before I show them to you, right? Real quick. All right, and first change we need to do here is to change gun position to transform position. The reason for that is we're gonna change position of a gun with the help of a couple of lines of code. And if we change position of a gun and use gun position here, it might give us some weird behavior like flicking. So first we need the angle to know how to rotate the gun around the character. Let's just type here float angle equals to math f at on two direction dot y direction dot x and we're gonna multiply it by math f uh, radians to degrees like so now that we have angle we're just gonna take gun position and we're gonna set it to transform position position of a character plus we're gonna give the rotation right so we're gonna do quartonian euler um gonna be zero zero and angle on the z that's what we're using and we're gonna multiply it by new vector three we need kind of offset to know how far distance of a gun should be and for that i created a gun distance variable that i did not tell you about so let's say i'll create it right now serialize field private float gun distance and let's make it 1.5 by default so this how far a gun should be away from the character and we can change this value later in the inspector so here for the x we do gun distance and then zero zero we can save this and go check it out I can go to play mode and oh sorry gun should be child of a player like so but it doesn't matter actually and now we can go to play mode and you'll see my gun is rotating around the character which is really cool and if i increase distance it will be further yeah if i decrease distance will be closer and this value you can like you know choose on your own i'll put maybe 1.2 looks okay to me I'll keep it like so 1.2 so let's go out of play mode make it 1.2 and now that gun works we need to make a flip for the gun because at the moment when i when i move gun to the left side of the character you can see it does not flip which is okay but we can make it better we can flip it so let's do it why not to do it right uh, let's go to gun controller over here and maybe below uh, we're gonna type a couple of if statements first we need to know if gun is facing right or not just the same way we did with the character if you remember we had facing right so i'm gonna make private bool gun facing right and this time we're gonna use mouse position to check if we need to flip it so let's type if mouse position dot x is less than gun position dot x and gun facing right so it means if mouse on the left side of the gun and gun is facing right we need to flip the gun so i'm gonna do gun facing right false and i'll just do gun local scale equals to new vector three we're not gonna change x we're not gonna change z so I'm gonna be gun local scale dot x for the y gonna be gun local scale dot y multiplied by minus one and then gun local scale dot z something like so and actually we can make a method for this for the flip why not let's just do not gun facing right and then we're gonna wrap this up alt enter extract method gun flip right and then here we're gonna do else if mouse position dot x is on the right side of a gun so gun position at x and not facing right so gun facing right false then we're gonna do gun flip again like so and before we continue i want to say thanks to all of my patreons and give special thanks to friendly robot skt1 mighty poppy steven and gennady chanson and retrobat gamer thanks to you guys these videos are possible and we can take all of these in a method alt enter 
extract method and it's going to take the value mouse position inside we're going to pass it to that function and we're going to name it as gun flip controller all right let's go and try again now it behaves like we need to but a bit wrong what we need to do here is go back to code and set facing right to true by default now check this out we move gun to the left and gun is facing left what i don't like about this though is that gun is facing left but character is not i feel like it would be more logical behavior if character would flip as well when you facing your uh, like when you aim into another side you know like so this would be more appropriate I believe so I'm gonna show you how to change it but if you don't want you can keep it as it works now here in the flip controller we're gonna get mouse position just like we did there mouse position equals to camera dot main dot screen to world point input mouse position and now we can use this mouse position here we're gonna do if mouse position dot x is bigger than transform position dot x and face and right then flip and same goes here if mouse position dot x is bigger than transform position dot x then we're gonna flip again something like so let's go and try this out now check this out i'm gonna look to the left i'm flipping and it allows me to run backwards shoot run forward shoot and I think this kind of more logical behavior that matches more to this game. All right, that's it for this video. In the next one, we're going to make bullets. So let's go and do it. Thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games. We make them.